and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my knitting and crafting adventures. I am the woman behind Crazy Sock Lady, the owner of Crazy Sock Lady Co. I will have links right down below this video for everywhere that you can find me. And there's lots to share today. So many new cast-ons, <laughs> all socks I think. I think that's all the new cast ones are socks. Yeah. So there's been lots of starting things. I finished a couple of things, but I've got my coffee. I hope you've got your beverage of choice, your crafting that you're going to work on and you're ready to sit and catch up for a bit. I'm in a different corner of the living room today. The sun is like coming right in the window where I normally sit. I didn't really want to sit over on the sofa. So here we are, but it's very shadowy I'm noticing <laughs> it's fine we're just gonna go with it and we're gonna jump on in and start with finished objects so first everything that I talk about does have a Ravelry project page I put that there so you guys can easily find any notes or yarn info needle info pattern info everything is right there for you on those Ravelry project pages and those can be found links for those right down below this video in the description box so I finished two pairs of socks since the last episode. I think that's it. Um, I forgot to bring one of them home. It's over at the shop because we had an in-person shopping and knitting day this past Saturday and I had the socks up for like a display in the shop um, because there was still some of that yarn left. But I will put a picture up here of those. So this was out of, I showed this yarn last time. It was Troll Hair by Happy Mermaid Yarn Co. It's an exclusive colorway for Crazy Sock Lady Co. And this was the DK weight. I did my free DK weight vanilla sock pattern using a US 3 needle, the size medium in the pattern. So yeah, these knit up really quickly as DK weight socks do. <laughs> and they were so much fun to see this colorway knit up. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, we do, I think we're sold out of the DK weights, but I believe we still have a couple skeins of this colorway in fingering weight over in the shop if you were interested in snagging this. And I imagine we will have more in the future as well. Um, this is just what we currently have in stock. I think we only have fingering weight. So yeah, that was one finished object. The second one, I don't remember if I was working on these last time or not. But these are, I still have them in my project bag by Daisy Girl and Company because Eric wants a pair like these. So I still have all of the yarn and everything down inside of there. But these were my scrappy, stripey socks. Look how fun those are. I had so much fun doing these. So I knit a couple pairs of socks like this back in October, the same kind of style with the stripes and using up minis and a full skein. And I've just been dying to do it again. So I thought, why am I not knitting these again? If I'm, I enjoyed them so much and I can't stop thinking about them, why am I not knitting these again? So I grabbed scraps. These are all scraps other than a couple of these were from my row one uh, mini skein subscription. I can't remember which ones now. I think the brown favorite color right here <laughs> and I think the blue up here I think those were the ones from row one everything else was scraps I did very detailed notes on my Ravelry project page for these for how many grams I used for each section when I weighed how I figured up what I was gonna need um, a lot of people ask for a pattern for this I really don't feel that like a written pattern is needed this is just my vanilla socks pattern I did it on nine inch um, you can of course do it on any of the methods, but this was just my vanilla socks pattern and I put in the Ravelry project page how I figured up what I would need for the sock to make sure I had enough for two. So yeah, super simple. I did a knit two purl two ribbing for the cuff and I put in the project page how many rounds for the stripes, but I did eight rounds for the leg stripes per stripe and then four rounds for the foot. So yeah, you can find all of the details over there. If you read through that and still have some questions, just send me an email. Um, I'm always happy to help. So yeah, slip stitch, heel flap, everything from my vanilla socks. 
pattern. And like I said, Eric wants a pair like this. He just kept commenting, I really like that. I really like that. And it does look so, it's just such a fun way to use up tonals and minis or scraps or anything. Um, it doesn't have to be tonals, but you could use, throw some speckles in here. It just looks so, so nice, I think. Um, so I need to get started on his. I am not sure since he has, I do 64 stitches for him, same as mine, but he has a longer foot. So I am not sure that I'll have enough gray. I'm debating, I need to weigh these, but I'm debating doing the main color for his in the green, meaning that I would do like the cuff, the toe, the heel, the foot, all of that in the green and then use the gray as another stripe for the leg. Um, so I would like take the green out and replace it with the gray in the stripes. We'll see what I end up doing because I'm not ready to start them just yet, but I've left everything in here so that it's there when I'm ready to go. That's it for finished objects. I think that's all that I finished. So like I said, I did cast on a couple of new things. I'll sh update you on a couple of projects you've already seen and then we'll chat about the new cast ons. Um, I have not touched my DRK sweater at all in the past two weeks, I don't think. Maybe I worked on it a little bit at one point. Um, might have taken it to lunch with us somewhere, but that was it. So I'm not gonna show it. I did do a lot on my festive wrap. This is in a bag from Bags by Awesome Granny. And I have gotten a lot done on this. I wanna say I have like five or six more. Ooh, that just about went in my coffee. I've got my coffee sitting on the corner of my chair here and this just about went into it. I think I have five or six more sections. But here, is the festive wrap. Just finished off that section there, so it is done. I'm ready to wind up the next mini and get it started. This is a pattern by Amba O'Brien, and the yarn that I'm using is by McMullen Fiber Co was a mini skein set that had 12 minis, I believe. Yes, that sounds right, 12 minis. That's what these are. And then I did grab a main skein by them. That's what's right here to do the last, like finish off, because it needs um, 16 minis. The set came with 12. I need more coffee this morning. And so I needed, something for the four other sections that I didn't have minis for. So I just grabbed a, a full skein from them and I'm doing the first, I did the first two sections and then I'm gonna do the last two sections in this color. Really enjoying this, have not wanted to put it down. Yeah, I need to do more projects like this. It's been so fun. It's like you get to a point with like each section, just barely at the end where it's like, okay, I've kind of had enough of this color. I've had enough of this pattern and then it's time to switch and it does it's not a new pattern each section they do repeat but um it's like just enough i don't know it's been really really enjoyable it's gonna be perfect to get it done and then it'll be ready for cooler weather i could even use that a little bit over the summer on cooler evenings i think over a tank top you know so i think it'll be perfect for all seasons i'm following the pattern exactly needle sizes recommended all of that i'm using my chow goo interchangeable needles i don't know if you guys can hear chloe snoring probably not she's across the room that's our german shepherd and she she's snoring very loud um what else I have my sea glass. I will show you that. I'm not done with it yet, but this is another bag from Bags by Awesome Granny. This has been my 30 minutes of knitting, which I have not gotten every morning, so that's why this is still on the needles. It's kind of been a toss up in the mornings. I don't know, it's like get a workout in, get your knitting in, 
head to the shop and get the work done that needs there. It's just kind of been all over the place in my mornings. So it does not have a completed second sleeve, but that's okay. So this is the sea glass sweater by Woolen Pine Designs. And I will not go through all the details because I've talked about it so many times. So you can watch like a previous episode um, to see all the details on it. And I will of course share all of them again when it is done. But yeah, this is where I am on the second sleeve. That's how much more I have to do. Not too much more, but I only get six rounds done when I have the time to sit down and like get a full 30 minutes. I only get six rounds done because I'm knitting those, changing colors every round, weaving in the ends. So not much gets done, but I really don't have too much more to do. It's such a beautiful pattern. I cannot wait to wear this next winter. And I can't wait to have it off my needles. I will be honest. I am done at this point. Like it's the sleeves. I was fine on the body, but these sleeves are just, and I have never felt like I've been on like sleeve island as people say and like you just can't get the sleeves done and they feel like such a slog i have never felt like that ever in all the years i've been knitting this sweater though it's the changing colors every round that's what it is it's driving me bonkers <laughs> i want it done and off my needles all right other new cast-ons are all socks shocker Let's see what we got here. Where's my other bag? I know I have one more. There it is. Okay. So I cast on quite a few socks. I have these, I have two in this bag. This is a bag from Happy Mermaid Yarn. It's super cute. It says, give me coffee to change the things I can and wine to accept those that I cannot. I'm so grateful I've had coffee, so is everyone else. It's just a super cute bag. These are both fingering weight socks. The first one that I cast on is with the Yarnable, April Yarnable yarn <laughs> that I showed on the last episode. This is Mermazing. And I have the first sock ready to be bound off. And yes, you're hearing that correctly. It's ready to be bound off because I did it toe up. So there's my toe. You guys know I do not do this normally, but I'm working on some stuff for camp. So here we are. Here's my sock. I did put in markers for an afterthought heel. I'm gonna do the afterthought heel just like the tutorials I have up already um, where I've placed my markers and then I'm gonna go back and add in the heel. These will be for my friend Jenny because she's taking all my afterthought heel socks that I love to knit but do not fit me no matter what I do. <laughs> I'm a heel flap and gusset girl all the way but I do enjoy knitting other um, heels. I just don't enjoy wearing other heels. So anyways, Regardless, these have been a joy to knit. I love this yarn so much, so much. Got these on Magic Loop US1, 2.25 millimeter, 64 stitches. I've just kind of worked my toe in reverse, like my when I do cuff down, I've just kind of reversed it and I'll have all the details for that in the tutorial for camp this year. What else about these? That might be it. I did do 25 rounds for the cuff, knit two, purl two. I've just kind of been enjoying a longer cuff. I love the look of a longer cuff. I think that's it. The markers I have on here, I place them every 10 rounds. I do have a tutorial showing how and why I do that here on YouTube if you're interested. I've got some cute progress keepers that I can't remember where they are both from. 
I'm horrible at remembering where these little cuties are from. Might be the gnome knitter and pitter patter polymer maybe? Or tip, no. I don't remember guys. I don't remember. Okay, so that's the first sock. I got this ready to be bound off last night when we were watching TV, but I just didn't have the brain space to do the bind off. My other sock, I started this one on Saturday. This is a yarn that shall not be named yet. I don't even, I can't talk about who it's by yet, but um, hopefully soon I'll be able to. But this is a gorgeous skein of yarn that was gifted to me by a friend. And I am ready for the heel on this. So I got the first sock ready for the bind off and then this one ready for the heel last night. And then I went to bed. Look how beautiful this is. I did a 25 round cuff, fit two pearl two on this one as well. 60 rounds for the leg. I did 60 rounds for the leg on the other one too. I didn't say that. Look how pretty that is. So gorgeous. And I'm doing nine inch circulars for these. Chow Gu, nine inch circulars, US zero, two millimeter because I do go down a needle size on nine inch because my gauge changes. So yeah, today I might sit down and get this bound off the next one going and get the heel done on that other sock. And two more. This is in a bag from Mountain State Stitches. I started another pair of DK weight socks. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm tangled here. This is in another Happy Mermaid yarn. I showed this last time as well. Okay, that's just gonna have to, oh no, I think I got it. I don't know how that happens. You put it in the bag and it's like, what goes on in there? This is Garden Fairies. This is another exclusive to Crazy Sock Lady Co. And we do still have this one in fingering and DK weight. And here is my sock. I believe it's ready for the heel. One, two, eh, almost. I've got like 10 more rounds. Look how pretty that one's knitting up. I love it. So I did 15 rounds for the cuff on this, knit two, purl two. I'm gonna do 40 rounds for the leg. This is just my free DK weight vanilla sock. And I didn't say with the, the pink speckles sock, um, that's just my vanilla socks on nine inch. I don't think I said that. But yeah, almost ready for the heel on this one. Chalgu US3, 32 inch for Magic Loop. I know recently people have been like, oh my goodness, you've been knitting so many sweaters and you're knitting a wrap and where are the socks? Y'all, the socks aren't going anywhere. Are you kidding? <laughs> They're still here. This last project I'm gonna share with you is another sock cast on. I just cast this on yesterday. I have it in another bag from Daisy Girl and Company. We're gonna have these in the shop soon. I put one of my, these are new pins to the shop. Crazy Sock Lady Co. I don't think you'll be able to see it very well with the lighting, but. cute new enamel pins. So this I started with some yarn that was new to the shop this past Saturday. I'll put a picture of it here in like before I caked everything up because it'll be harder to hold it all up. So I'll put a picture up here. This is a full skein of Cascade Heritage Solids in the silver gray colorway. Can't remember the number. I think it's like 5742 or something. Um, and then a mini skein set from Holly Press Fibers, which is a new yarn dyer to Crazy Sock Lady Co. We have just started stocking her stuff and I love it so much. So this was the Lilac Blossoms mini skein set. 
I had to keep it. If you've followed me for a while, you know I love lilacs. I had to do it. I couldn't decide if I was going to do some more the stripey, scrappy socks or if I wanted to do Rainbow Connection. So I did a poll on Instagram stories and the stripey, scrappy socks like were staying steady at like, they were winning by like 5% of the votes. But I decided to do Rainbow Connection and then see if I have enough for the scrappy, stripey socks. So I started the Rainbow Connection last night on Nine Inch Circulars, or yesterday, really. I cast them on why it has rehearsal at School of Rock on Tuesdays. So I cast it on while I was waiting during that time. So I did, did I do 25 rounds or 20 for the cup? I think I just did 20. Yes, just 20 rounds. Knit two, pearl two for the cuff. This is the Rainbow Connection sock pattern, which is one of my designs. There's the first mini, and then I've started on, on the second mini. Here's what the back of it looks like. So it's so fun to me that like on the back, the stripes go this way and they're horizontal. And then on the front, it's like they're more vertical. I just think it's so fun. So Rainbow Connection is great for using up scraps, using a self-striping paired with a tonal or a lightly speckled. And I love the idea of using a mini skein set. So I have five mini skeins. I'm gonna do them all down the leg and that should work out good. I'm doing three pattern repeats per mini skein and then changing to the next. Three pattern repeats, changing to the next. So yeah, US zero, two millimeter for the nine inch circulars, chow goo as always. I think that's it about these. I'm just following the pattern exactly as it's written and it is really fun and surprisingly mindless. You might not look at it and think that it would be something so mindless, but it really, really is. It's very fun to do. It gives a nice texture to the sock as well. So I'm gonna knit these up and then see if I have enough to do a pair of the stripey, scrappy socks. Let me check my notes. I think that's it for works in progress. Okay, so what things that I've received in the mail, and we do have a giveaway winner to announce, so we will do that as well. But I did receive the row one subscription for April. So row one is a mini skein subscription service. I already opened up. It always comes with like a little um, package that has the paper that tells you about it. And there's always a sweet treat in there. And I already opened it and it's already gone. So you don't get to see all of that. Um, <laughs> but you get to see the yarn. So this one is barnyard knits and I love her yarns so I was so excited to see that and the sheet always tells you a little bit about the company about the yarn it has the colorway names listed so much detail and thought goes into this oh and they do always send a little progress keeper it was a little cute little or stitch marker it was a cute little pig so cute I'll put that back there Got a bunch of progress keepers and things back here. So here are the row one barnyard knits. So, so beautiful. I love with these, and I, I th probably say this every time, but they put, like I said, so much attention to detail with the row one. They have the colorway names listed on each mini, the yarn dyer and the colorway names. And I love that because you can just toss them in a bin and then you'll know when you pick it out who the yarn dyer was, who, well, you know, what the colorway name is. Otherwise, I would never remember. So I love that. And I love that it comes in a little bag too. I always keep them stored in there. All right, that's it for what came in the mail. I did get 
that in there first. Um, I did get a sweet package in my post office box. I will put a picture up here. I posted it on Instagram stories yesterday. Somebody sent me a cute little duck progress keeper with a little note that says, you've been ducked. And if you know, it's a Jeep thing. I've talked about it before, um, but it was so cute. It's such a fun surprise. So I, did, I don't have it in here because it's actually hanging from my little thing on my um, rear view mirror so that it will be right there. I love to see him and then I can pull him off and use him when we go on rides um, this summer in the Jeep. Use him on my sock projects. So yeah, that was so sweet. If that was you, please email me so that I can say a proper thank you aside from on here because that really made my day yesterday. It was so fun to get that and open that and it said you've been ducked. It just totally made my day. Okay, what else? Shop stuff, I talked about a couple of the new things that were in the shop on Saturday. We did have the in-person knitting and shopping and then we opened up the website again with everything updated. So we do have Holly Press Fibers is our new yarn dyer. So many amazing colorways. A lot of them have already sold out, but don't worry, I'm gonna be ordering some more. Um, there are still some in stock, not everything is gone. We did have a new shipment of Polka Dot Creek come in from Canada and their stuff is always amazing. We've got sock sets, we've got tonals, speckles, in fingering weight and DK weight. So head over and check it out. There's a lot of good things. I think we still have some mini skein sets available from them as well in the shop. And then we did restock the Cascade Heritage prints. Um, all of the same colors that we had before. So if one had sold out before and you were wanting it, those are back in stock. And then we've also added Cascade Heritage solids. That's what I'm using the gray for the Rainbow Connection socks. They are so great to grab and pair with some of your other yarns that you have in your stash for heels, toes, cuffs, or a pattern like the Rainbow Connection where you need you know, a tonal or a solid to go with them. So I've got quite a few colors available over there. Um, I feel like the grays always go fast. We do still have some like charcoal gray and I think some regular gray, but this silver gray did sell out pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, we'll be restocking those and adding more colors as we go. But those are, they're amazing for that. And then they, they're great for sweaters, shawls, hats, mitts, anything and everything they are amazing for and you cannot beat the price and they hold up very, very well. Okay, I think that's it for what's new in the shop. Summer sock camp stuff, I'm hoping by the next time I record or even before then I'll do a video announcing some dates for summer sock camp things. Things are starting to arrive. I actually have the mugs arriving today. It'll be the camp style mugs that you guys love so much. Um, I looked down, but I don't have that camp mug today. So the ones that we have in the shop right now are Crazy Sock Lady and Scrappy Sunday in that camp style. And the summer stock camp is going to be in that same style and size of mug. So you can look for that. We're gonna have a lot of the same things that we've had previously. Um, enamel pins, progress keepers, as far as like merchandise for camp goes. It'll be a lot of the same stuff previously. The camp mugs we haven't had since the first year. Um, so those are coming back. We're gonna have keychains this year, which are above and beyond anything I could have ever hoped for. They are so, so well done. So I cannot wait to share those with you. Um, I'm trying to think what other like merchandise things. We're gonna have notions tins, like our normal, style of this is like one with a crooked sticker of course that's the one i grab the sticker will not look like this <laughs> our normal style i kept this one because the sticker got put on so crooked <laughs> our normal style notions tins with all of our favorite goodies in it um, but with a summer sock camp sticker on it so i think that's going to be it for merchandise that'll be at crazy sock lady co we will still have our Spreadshirt shop, which will have shirts, bags, all of the goodies that were in it last year. You'll be able to get those with the Summer Sock Camp logo on them over at Spreadshirt. And then we do have quite a few yarn dyers and bag makers that are doing things for the shop. And I can't wait to share those with you. It's gonna be so good. 
a lot of them should be here by mid to end of May. So, um, I'm not, I hesitate to put dates out there just yet in case something goes awry, but this is the tentative plan. Set in stone things will come and the shop webs or the website will have the dates and things as soon as those are available. But what I'm thinking is May 28, we will do an in-person um, camp kickoff and everybody can cast on that day, whether you're coming in person or not, but a camp kickoff to cast on our socks and then be able to shop the products. And I will have some for in person and then hold some back for online. So don't fret. If you can't come in person, things will still be available online. I can't imagine things would sell out in person, but I will make sure things are held back <laughs> for online sales. And then the shop will be updated that evening or that day or the next day. You know, like I said, exact dates and times to come, but that's kind of the tentative plan. I'm just finalizing a couple more things this week to make sure that things are gonna be here on time and then we will see. And we're also gonna have sock books that you can track your socks, um, kind of a sock journal. There's gonna be patches available. Those will not be available at Crazy Sock Lady Co. But think like a patch you can like put on your blue jean jacket or your backpack, whatever you wanna put it on. Those are gonna be available over at Monster Knits. So I will of course announce when she has those up and available. Yeah, so many good things coming with camp. Just, it's been a huge change this year as far as how I'm doing camp. Um, merchandise and things like that. It's a huge take on to move things, everything to Crazy Sock Lady Co. So as far as the timeline, things are a bit later this year um, because of that change and shift in how things are being done. Um, everything will be there and it'll be ready to ship and we'll get it out, you know, within a couple of days after it goes up on the website. Fingers crossed I say that. <laughs> It'll be out within that, that week after you order um, from the update. But, so yeah, Dif things are different this year. Because of that, the timelines have been pushed and shifted, but it's making it, you know, us more prepared for how things will go next year and when we need to start ordering things and all of that, so yeah. <laughs> it's a learning curve when I think when you put on something like this and you're changing how it's been done previously. But it'll it'll be good. It'll be great. There's so many good things. I hope that you guys are excited. I'm super excited about it. And I can't wait to just knit all the socks all summer long. I mean, I do that anyways, but it's more fun when we're doing it for summer sock camp because so many of you are doing it with me. So that makes it even more fun. All right, I think that's it. Now we have our giveaway winner to announce. So we are giving away a bag from Bags by Awesome Granny. The winner will get to pick the bag and the size from Darlene's shop. So I will put the winner right here across the bottom of the screen. Congratulations. If you would just contact me at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com and give me your information. I think that's how we'll do it well. Um, just email me, let me know you're the winner and we will go from there. I will, cause you have to pick your bag and your size and all of that from the shop. So email me, let me know you're the winner and we will go from there. Congratulations again. And thank you guys so much for participating in the giveaway. There were so many comments and I thoroughly enjoyed reading through all of them last time. All right. I think that's it. Um, not really too much life stuff. We've done in-person shopping, that's been going great. And I'm so enjoying kind of building a local community here around Crazy Sock Lady Co. It's great to meet people that come into the shop. And some people I've known through Instagram for so long and it's just, it's great to finally like put a face like in person with that Instagram. So that's nice. Thank you guys to everybody who's been coming in um, for the in-person or who's been shopping the shop period. If you, even if you can't come in for in-person, Really, really appreciate every single one of you. Everything else is going great. Life's good. The boys are doing good. Austin's physical therapy's going good. Wyatt has his first 
show with School of Rock this Friday. Um, it's like their anniversary, is it their 10th anniversary? I can't remember, but it's an anniversary show that School of Rock's doing. So it's not his like main show that he's been working towards, but it's an anniversary show and he'll be performing in two songs. So that's coming up Friday, super exciting. Um, I think that's kind of it. <laughs> <laughs> normal, normal life other than that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I've been working on. Let me know below what you're working on. Um, hope you enjoyed hearing about summer sock camp. I can't wait. Are you guys excited? What are you most excited about? I'm just excited about seeing all the socks you guys are knitting, hearing about people that are knitting socks for the first time. I can't wait. Like I said, I'll have finalized things very, very, very soon. Just getting a couple more ducks in a row this week before I make the official announcements of dates and times. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.